Hello everyone and welcome to Descent Journeys in the Dark 2nd edition it's the Troll Fence and this is my strategies and tactics and this is for if I get that out of the way uh, yep yeah, this is for if I grab those cards come on it's the Stalker class this is going to be so much fun you wouldn't even believe of uh, how much it is anyway first things first what do we actually get you get the hunting knife so it's a melee weapon uh, you get, uh, use a spend a surge plus one damage spend a surge recover a stamina and you get uh, the blue and, and yellow it's only one handed uh, so you can actually cover two stamina really no, one for that one and you know spend a surge to recover a stamina as normal right what else you get another weapon which is the black widow's web exotic range uh, spend a surge, immobilize, spend a surge, damage. It's very, very, um, well, short with uh, the blue and green. Hmm. However, the immobilize should be fun. Right. What do you get with uh, the first skill? You get set trap. Right. Exhaust this card to place one trap token in an empty space adjacent to you. Uh, which is uh, that? Hold on. Let, let's 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 try and get a better look. Okay. Oh, I've got all of mine in bags, so there's there's, there's uh, quite a bit of uh, trap tokens there. Yeah. Always a good idea to uh, get some bags for all of this. Anyway, let's carry on, shall we? No. Oh. Anyway. While you are adjacent to a trap token. Uh, each of your attacks gain plus one damage. Well, since you automatically uh, are next to a trap, you don't want to just to go, I'll place a trap and then walk away. No, you don't do that. That's stupid. Uh, if a monster enters a space adjacent to a trap token, discard the trap token from the map and that monster suffers one damage. Uh, well, since uh, most well your range weapon is extremely close and the other weapon is a melee you just go well try and get straight near to a monster and then do the layer trap a anyway uh, uh, well how focus fun thing it is for this uh, class is that you could be Admiral Akbar by going as a trap every now and t every now and again or you just let's see try and troll uh, the um, overlord as much as you like yeah the overlord might have a few trap cards but you actually have the one with the most which is great right well what are you going to be spending your experience on uh, let's have a look hunter's mark uh, exhaust this card during your turn to choose a monster within three spaces of a trap token and place uh, one of your hero tokens on the monster's base uh, in, in indicating that it's marked well as I said before you need to get close uh, to the monsters anyway um, the next hero to attack a marked monster adds one surge to their attack results and it only takes one stamina um, right now that doesn't seem so bad I think there might be a slight problem though a uh, it because it doesn't say it's well it says the next hero so it doesn't say uh, the next attack which is a little confusing because what if a, you want to attack after you've done this does that mean you get a surge uh, does does the uh, you, does the uh, token actually uh, leave afterwards? It doesn't stay there. It seems like it stays in place permanently until the monster is dead. Uh, and every single hero that attacks can get the plus one surge. It it doesn't state that's the thing. And I've been uh, trying to find an FAQ on it, but I I'm well. To me, I think it's supposed to be the uh, the, the next attack for the the f as in the next hero that attacks it. Uh, so uh, 
even if you're you yourself. Uh, that that's how I I'd put it. It's like leave, leave a token on there until the monster's dead, and um, and then someone gets to spend a search. It it's a tough call on that one. But don't delay. There are many other decent and good ones to go by. Focus, thank you. Makeshift trap. Exhaust this card uh, immediately after performing a search action to place one trap token in an empty space adjacent to you. While this card is exhausted, each hero adjacent to a trap recovers a stamina at the start of uh, the start of, the, of uh, their turn. Uh, which uh, okay, it, there's no stamina there. You immediately place a uh, trap token uh, adjacent to you when you're placing a or well, doing a search uh, and everyone that's next to a trap gets a stamina back this is very good it means you get to place more traps around uh, practically anywhere you want that's adjacent to you uh, yeah Just run to, towards those search tokens and then uh, try and get those uh, searches done you you could um you can really do a lot of um good with that especially with the uh, the set trap thing you know it's just like when you're right next to a trap you get plus one damage anyway next one is exploit perform an attack if uh, this attack targets a monster within three spaces of a trap token as I was saying, uh, doing the set trap, you want to go straight towards um, the monsters anyway. And of course, the makeshift trap as well. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You hear that? Okay. Um, what did I go up to, right? Of a trap token, right? Add one additional green power dice to your attack pool. Nice, isn't it? Hey, but there's more. This attack gains. Spend a surge. The target is weakened even if you didn't deal any damage and it only takes one stamina one stamina to make an attack and if the monster is within three spaces for a trap token uh, one additional green uh, power dice uh, but you also get the um, that surge ability as well uh, I, I, I can't say how how great this is because it's beyond beyond great it's a very very good good skill to have no matter what um, yeah literally probably take that almost straight away however if we have a look at the ones that take two um, experience points to have we get Lay of the land. Any hero adjacent to a search token, there's that search token thing again, uh, and within three spaces of a trap token, so any hero within three spaces of a trap token, during their turn may suffer a stamina to exhaust the card and search the token without using an action. Uh, completely, completely awesome. It, it's like uh, laying breadcrumbs L literally uh, I think this is a lot more better than the makeshift trap itself uh, <laughs> go around place a trap that's um, near a, a uh, search token it, it's literally a marker point <laughs> one stamina and you still get this, your two actions very 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 good card however there's others um, now check this out easy prey okay so it's a skill uh, as an action right exhaust this card to perform an attack before rolling dice don't worry uh, I know I, I hate the the before rolling dice, but there's there's a very good reason for this part, which is very good. 
Okay. Place one trap token to the closest empty space adjacent to the target. Okay. While this card is exhausted, each attack targeting a monster adjacent to a trap token gains a pierce one. Uh, yes, please. Um, did you notice that it's um, a perform an attack and then you just well, it's literally you target a monster. Uh, wow, this is really out of focus. About alcohol. There you go. Um, yeah, you literally place a trap token uh, in an empty space that's adjacent to the target. Uh, it, it, it it seems a bit overpowered, ex especially when when it doesn't say even if it's it, it's got to be in range. I, I I mean, you could be like over here, and a monster can be over there, and you go. I'm going to spend a stamina to to attack that monster. Oh no, I am out of range. There's a trap token right there all of a sudden. <laughs> um, heck, you might even get lucky and be in range. Who knows? Uh, if I leave that there, because there's a little combo with this, and it's the very next card. Right? Poison Barbs. Exhaust this card, join your turn to choose a trap token on the map. Right. Roll the blue attack die for each monster within three spaces of the chosen trap token. With this card. Could be a lot of bunch of other monsters around. Okay, let's carry on. Let's find out what he does. Uh, each time you do not roll an X, the monster is poisoned. Then discard the trap token, and it takes two stamina. Two stamina uh, to to have uh, plenty of monsters uh, poisoned. They will slowly die, and and it's just these two that you will smile and go, "I love being the stalker." Because it's just so fun. It's trolling as much as you like. Well so far I think all of the um, uh, level 2 ones are absolutely awesome. Can't go wrong with that at all. Well if they're awesome what about the ones that are the ones that takes free experience points. Hmm let's have a look. Ambush Exhaust this card when a monster enters an empty space within three spaces of a trap token uh, to immediately perform an attack. Uh, it can work kind of well with the um. Oh, uh, what was it called again? Uh, the easy prey. Uh, uh, place a trap token right in its space because, of course, that monster might want to move around it so it doesn't take a damage. You, you might not want to do the poison barbs and all that stuff, so yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, and you perform an attack uh, that's targeting that monster, okay? After the attack is resolved, if the monster was not defeated, it continues its activation. So you're doing it, it takes one stamina to um, attack a single monster within three spaces of a trap token. Uh, which yet yeah, again works well with the lay of land. Um, you're placing trap tokens as in markers. Uh, you you you're really doing place as many traps as you like. It's it's really really it's it's, it's a very good card. Uh, attacking that monster during the overlord's turn and possibly killing it hopefully as well just for one stamina, one stamina to make an attack definitely worth it. What about the next one? Focus. Upper hand. You gain plus one stamina and two health. Right now that seems really good even if it just takes free, sta uh, free stamina, free experience points. But of course you know there's more. Perform an attack before rolling dice you may discard any number of trap tokens from the map. For each trap token discarded from the map this attack gains plus one damage and it only takes two stamina. Yes, of course, it is um, the before rolling dice thing again. Uh, 
it's 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 actually not too bad actually because uh, you could be doing the bread crumbing you know, lay the bread crumbs which of course the bread crumbs is actually um actually bread crumbs that's it that's better uh, would be um your traps and if you don't need them then this is the card to uh well you know, get your traps uh, back and it only takes two stamina to do as as many damage as you like uh, well what what can i say it, you you place a trap here trap there uh, and of course if you're doing the um easy prey thing you have a trap right next to your target as well maybe uh, <laughs> you know while the car's exhausted the uh, target monster adjacent to a trap gets pierced or one so if you've already done that then you're doing that a it's already got a pierce of one all automatically you you might want to just leave the trap card there y you could do so much so so much with the uh upper hand this class is absolutely amazing and well i haven't actually yet to, got to play this one uh, i've been a bit busy you know, doing other bits and pieces like trying to find work and all that stuff but as soon as I get to play this, I'm going to have a lot of fun. Plus, I've been playing the Overlord quite a few times anyway. Uh, well, with this class, uh, what are you going to be trying to find in? Find in? Yeah, what are you going to try and find? Uh, I'm losing my words. Uh, right. First thing first, how about some flesh powder? Uh, so, uh, you, you test your awareness. If you pass, one monster adjacent to you uh, is stunned. Uh, and you can move up to your speed. So, stun a monster, move, uh, place an, another trap around it somewhere else. Belt of water walk in, yeah, you get plus one willpower, and you can treat uh, water spaces as normal spaces. So, you could get a, go around placing traps quicker, uh, even across water. Lucky charm, exhaust card to roll attribute test. Um, Elven boots, plus one movement. Uh, mana weave uh, after an attack exhaust this to get a uh, surge on your result uh, plus one stamina you've got the scorpion helm uh, plus one to your range attacks very good reason that's for there leather armor plus one health and brown defense dice uh, feast vest uh, plus one might and awareness and brown defense dice uh, heavy cloak cancel a surge from an enemy that is chainmail you can't equip runes and speed is four but you do get a grade defense dice crossbow pierce of one plus two damage and um, plus one damage and move the space one on space yeah sling plus from range, plus from damage, and stun. Some of these one-handed uh, things you could uh, ha also have a shield with, you know. Anyway, Elm Great Bow, adjacent figures do not block line of sight, plus two damage, plus two range. Uh, it's probably the range that you might be uh, wanting. Focus, bow of bone. If you have not moved, add one additional green to your attack pool. Plus two range, plus one damage, plus three damage, uh, and uh, sunburst, stun, plus two damage. Right, that that's for shop one. What about shop two? Oh dear. Well, first things first. The trivial crystal. That's an action. Exhaust this card. Roll one um, red power dice, you gain that much health. Uh, Shroud of Dusk, a plus one to your attributes. Black Iron Helm, plus two health, add uh, one armor bo bonus to your uh, pull results. It's just to keep you alive because you're obviously going to go right to the enemies, place your traps around, move away, do a bit of shooting, do a bit more trolling. 
I, I you, you're going to be doing a lot. Right, Ironbound Ring, plus two health. If you roll any blanks, you get to add one to your results. A cloak of Deception. If you roll blank of any of defense dice, you can exhaust the card and test your awareness. If you pass, uh, you're not affected by the attack. You get a uh, gray dice. Elven Cloak. Uh, exhaust card. Uh, after rolling defense dice, replace the results with the number of shield bonus equal to your awareness. Uh, Obsidian Scaramel, you can't be cursed. Each time you attack and suffer uh, no damage, you recover two stamina. It's a black defense dice. You can only perform one skill or an ability a turn. Uh, Demon Hide Lever, if you perform two move actions, you suffer a stamina at the end of your turn. Get a uh, gray defense dice. Scaramel, can't equip runes before rolling uh, defense dice. You can suffer a stamina to add a brown defense by dice to your pool. You got a um, grey defense dice there. You got a uh, bow of the eclipse, the pierce two, uh, plus one range plus three damage or plus one range plus one damage. It's a little bit short though, but still. Uh, lightning strike, rune blast, plus two damage plus two damage. Uh, dwarf and firebomb. Uh, plus one range, plus one damage, blast, stun, birth the sky, range, stun, and uh, plus three damage. Boomerang, uh, if the attack uh, uh, deals at least one damage and equip it, uh, plus two range, plus one damage, and then got weaken as well. Uh, Stuff the wild. Curse, disease, poison, or stun, or plus one range and plus two damage, and then re uh, recover uh, one stamina when doing one damage as well. Uh, Latari Longbow, Pierce one, plus two range, plus two damage. Ice Storm, Immobilize, plus two damage, especially the Immobilize thing. Keep them right next to your traps. Staff of Kellos, uh, plus two range, plus two damage and burn. Blasting rune, when a monster is defeated during the attack with this weapon, each figure adjacent to the defeated monster suffers two damage. You've got double surge there to do plus four damage. Not too shabby when you're doing, um, well, putting uh, uh, the, um, oh dear, I can't. Easy prey, you know, that's the one where you get to do an attack and you put a trap right next to them. Uh, but you also get a piece of one, so you could probably kill that monster. And yeah, yeah, you, yeah, I think you got the idea. Or not, it's entirely up to you. Anyway, uh, Rune of Misery got a curse, plus one range, plus one damage, or plus four damage as well. Well, that's all I have right now. I'm going to say that this is definitely going to be a fun class to play. I can't wait to play this one. However, there's other other things that I'd like to try out as well. Uh, uh, there's lots of other characters that I'd like to try and play. Um, yeah, but that's all I've got. I think this one's definitely going to be one of the most fun class ever, though. No matter what. That's all I've got. Bye.